What the fuck is up, Mavriches? If you're new here, hello. My name is Brittany. Couldn't get the camera to work facing downwards, so hope you don't mind seeing this glorious face today. So I'm basically just going to hold the product up, swatch it. We're going to have a little swatch party. If you guys like declutter videos, don't forget to thumbs it up. How's everything look? How we sounded? What's up, my britches? I see you guys all in the live chat. What's good? What's popping? Happy Sunday, Sunday fun day. Yes, we love a good Sunday fun day. Yes. <laughs> Margie, so pleased to make the live chat. Yes. Thank you guys all for joining me. I wasn't going to do this tonight, hence why I look like this right now. <laughs> I mean, usually with declutters, I look like this anyways, but I was like, okay, the camera's not working. That's why I was like a minute late getting this going live. Um, but we're going to make it work, make a way out of no way, right? So um, if you guys like my content, all that fun stuff, make sure you guys subscribe before you guys leave. First things first, though, share it out, thumbs it up. I think we all know what to do by now, but it just, it helps give you guys a friendly reminder that, you know, just do those little things. Click, click, boom. And then we're good. Hello from Detroit. <laughs> yes, Brandy. Let's see who's in the live chat. We have Jennifer, Kimberly, Sherry. Oh, uh, we have Maytal. What's up, girl? KG, Trish, Sweet Roar. Let's see. We have Lisa, Parnica, Margie. Yes, Ruthie. Oh my gosh, so many of you guys. Hi, everyone. What's up, my britches? Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. Tomorrow's my birthday. I won a weight loss competition today, so I'm like, mm, now. I'm like this, get my wine back out. Sunday fun day, yes, bitch. Let's see, oh, coming from Kate, the great channel, subscribe, yes, girl. Oh my God, Kate is like my everything. I fucking love Kate, the great. If you're not following Kate, this is gonna be like a thing in every live stream. If you're not following Kate, the great, I'll probably mention so many of my other friends. How did you guys find me? That's like my favorite thing to find out is how you guys found me, whether it's from like a YouTube search, somebody shared it. Oh, Carolyn says, aloha, aloha. I love that. Oh, thank you, Trish. She said, happy birthday. Thanks, girl. Happy early birthday. Thanks, Parnica. Oh my God, I'm not even gonna be able to, <laughs> to throw them all up because I know they're all coming in. So thank you guys all for the happy birthday wishes. I'll be 30 tomorrow, Dirty 30 in quarantine. What the fuck? I'm supposed to be in Vegas right now. I'm supposed to be visiting with Michelle Wong. We're supposed to be buying handbags. This quarantine is killing my vibe right now. <laughs> so thank you guys again for all the birthday wishes. And I'll leave Michelle and Kate's channels link down below. I left them below in last video. Did anybody shop the VIB sale? <laughs> I will be having my VIB sale haul coming. I'm going to wait till I get everything and then, or at least almost everything. And then I'll be doing a, you know, big ass <laughs> haul video. I just saw Bree says, I found you through your collab with Teresa's dad. That was my like, that couldn't have been a more perfect collab. <laughs> but the alien slut queen herself. Oh, I love it. Product search. Oh, Kimberly. Wow, really? Do you remember which one it was? Kimberly found me from a product search. That's so fun. <laughs> yep. Sherry found me from Teresa's dad. <laughs> KG is from Teresa's dad. I saw a lot of you guys come over from that collab. I got between that one. It's always collabs between Teresa's collab, mine and Kate's collab, and also Michelle's collab. I have a ton of you guys on here from there. So thank you guys all for coming over and checking out my channel. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I'll be 21 in quarantine in July. Oh no. Oh man. So you, you, you know, you know my struggle right now. Okay. Let's quit the bullshit. That was really good. I want to have another sip. <laughs> I ate so much pizza and fried dough today. Oh my God. It was such a mood. Like talk about Sunday Funday, right? Wine out the bottle, pizza and wings. Mm. Oh, this wine's so good. It's the Castello de Poggio Moscato. You guys have heard me talk about this countless times. I feel like I'm drinking this. Like, if I'm drinking wine, that's usually what it is. I love that one. Oh, let's see. You found you during the Jacqueline Hill fiasco. That's another one I know a lot of people came over from. <laughs> oh, let's see. Maytal set a product search as well. Kate and Michelle's collab. Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Did I buy that palette? I can't even remember. I haven't bought in an Urban Decay palette since probably the on the Born to Run or On the Run palette. Okay, let's get into what you guys are all coming in here for. And that's this 
colorful lipstick declutter. I don't have a ton of colorful lipsticks or I have mostly like nudes, if anything. And I don't really think I have that big of a collection, but I'm sure this is still going to take forever because I talk too damn much. So this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to hold up the product, tell you guys what it is, and I'll swatch it. I'll try to hold my hand right here and swatch it just so you guys can see. Moscato is the shit. I fucking love Moscato. I'm going to try to do these. Hold on. Let me separate these. I started doing this, but then my camera was giving me a bitch in time. I'm going to try to separate the separate these if I have like the same brands, but I don't, I think a lot of these are going to be like all over the place. I think I'm pretty good. So let's start with, I'll do like my singles first. I talked about this brand in uh, my last declutter. So I already did a nudes declutter, which I had a seven year old helping me separate these. So I'll probably have some nudes in here <laughs> as well. So this is going to be the Tarte. These are called the C Color Splash Lipsticks. This one I talked about in my like top 10 Sephora recommendations. This is the shade Daiquiri. Tell me that is not the perfect spring color. Let's see if I could do this. Like, oh my God, this is going to be a train wreck. I could, all, I could tell already. That's going to be the color Daiquiri. Amazing. Here, let me do this. Just so you guys could see what it, a good swatch actually looks like. This is my go-to. I love this formula. I'm definitely keeping this one. I kept this whole line because I fucking love it. These are only available at Sephora. They're going to give you more of like a satin finish. I just, I really enjoy that formula, especially for how pigmented it is. While you're watching, let me know your guys' favorite like lipstick formula. Cause I really need to like throw out a lot of my stuff. Like even going through this declutter, I'm like, I know I could have gotten rid of more stuff. I would not be surprised if I went through everything again off camera and did it. Cause once I'm finished with this declutter, I'm going to do like a whole entire makeup collection video. So that will be coming. Um, Trish said, love that. <laughs> yeah, summer color right there. Love that color. So pretty. <laughs> Hell yeah, we drink it tonight. <laughs> He'd be like, husband, buy me, bring me up a Moscato. <laughs> okay, this next one's going to be, I think this is from Real Her. I can't remember how I got this one. This is going to be an unknown shade because the sticker fell off. I think I'm going to throw this one out because it's pretty old. I can't remember if I got this in like a boxy charm. Okay, this feels actually pretty nice. I wish I knew what shade it was. Oh wait, no I do. It has the shade right here, it's called Boss. So that's gonna be the shade Boss by Real Her. Oh my God, these swatches are tragic. That actually feels still pretty good. It's like pretty, pretty like slip and slidey. Oh my God, this is so hard. <laughs> my camera played me. <laughs> Are you guys enjoying it seeing me? Because we always get into a conversation at the end of these. So I'm like, okay, it's not like the end of the world. These are typically shades, though, that I I don't usually wear like colored lipsticks because they get all over my face. So I usually stick with nude lipsticks. I'm like, where the hell did I get that one from? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to try to keep up with the comments as I'm doing this. Sarah says Charlotte Tilbury is her favorite formula. Um, Sherry doesn't have one yet. Let's see. Charlotte Tilbury matte lipstick formula is amazing. Yes. I really love that one. Um, definitely a fall color. Yes. Kimberly for sure. Definitely a fall color. Yeah. It's like, it's a really nice shade. It's very, it's very pigmented. Like I wasn't expecting that. Let's see. Next one's going to be Too Faced. I'm going to hang on to this one for now because I don't have a lot of dark ones and I don't really have anything from Real Her and it still feels all right. So we're going to roll with that. I have the Too Faced Marshmallow Bunny lipstick. I think this is going to be like a like a corally pink. This one's really pretty, but it's this one's old. It's, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. And I got to stay in focus. The shade of this is super cute. But it's so fucking patchy. Like this one is old. We're going to get rid of this one. I've had this one forever. But the shade of it's super cute. But I usually don't wear shades like this anyways. So we're going to declutter that one because it's been a goddamn eternity. Um, KG says, I really like the L'Oreal Bomb Sticks or my Charlotte Tilbury. I think Charlotte Tilbury is going to nail it for a lot of people. Let's see. Sarah said, just added that tart lipstick to my <laughs> Sephora cart. Damn you. I'm going to buy so much from this. Did you use my affiliate link? <laughs> I'm kidding. I do usually have my links down below. They're all indicated which ones are affiliate links. If you guys want to use them, cool. You do not have to use them. It's just a little way for us to, I mean, we are in commission if you guys use our affiliate links and it just makes me re 
like reinvest into my channel. Like if I, I, I've bought more makeup during this VIB sale because people are using my affiliate link. So thank you guys all so much for using those. Uh, next one's going to be from Tarte. I don't know. What is these? The Glamazon Pure Performance 24 hour lipstick in the shade inspired. This is going to be a nude that was supposed to be in my last one. This one. Jocelyn was like, can I have this? I'm like, well, let me go through these first. That shade's super cute. I don't know why. I'm going to try to do it this way. I'm going to try to sit back and do it and see if I could live swatch them this way. This is going to be, it's really thin. So I think if you have small lips, you'd probably really like this because it wouldn't get all over your face. That shade is super pretty. It almost reminds me of, what is it, NARS Anna? Was that the one I was wearing in yesterday's? Was it yesterday's video or the day before? I'm going to keep this one. I need to reach for it more. That's super cute. I like that. I think I got that in like a Sephora favorite set or something like that. Um, Jamie says, I also love the YSL bomb sticks. I swatch those every time I go to the Rochester store, like every single time. And I never freaking buy them. I get really confused though. It's like, I think it's because I don't pay attention to what the names of them are because all the packagings look so similar. So I'm like, wait, what formula was that that I swatched? <laughs> I do that all the time. And the Dior bomb sticks. Oh my goodness. They are so comfortable. I had one of those in my cart for the Sephora sale and I took it out because I was spending too much fucking money. Uh, Brandy says, yes, we do always use the affiliate links. It's just, it's, it's always nice when you guys do, but I, I'm just like, they're there if you want them. If you don't, don't worry about it. Like I use them myself. Like I just bought, um, I bought some stuff from BK beauty. I bought some brushes and the sponge and I just use Kate's, um, I use Kate's affiliate links because she's always talking about them. So I use affiliate links myself. This is going to be another nude that should have been in my last video. This is from Smashbox. This is the shade Nylon Nude. I'll do, oh my God, this is tragic. These are so old. I could see myself wearing this one. That looks like it has a really nice sheen to it. I'll give you a, a live swatch. Is this helpful at all? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like going to keep rubbing it on here because I'm like, do I want to keep this one? I could totally see myself wearing this nude. Oh, that's kind of nice. I say colorful lipsticks and this is so fucking, <laughs> like I said, I had a seven year old help me separate these. So I'm actually going to keep this one for now. Oh my God. Why, why do I do this to myself? I need to get rid of shit, but it's like, they still smell. Okay. That smelled mostly like makeup remover. If they smell okay and they perform okay. I mean, it's like I bought them. So why would I just get rid of them? You know? Yeah, this one still smells okay. It's got like a slight, like kind of like a vanilla scent to it. I'm into that. Let's see. Sherry says, I love nudes. <laughs> I mean, don't we all love nudes? <laughs> Let me see. What's up next? I have some Tom Ford. These were gifted to me. These are the lip contour duos. I think I had like four other shades of these in my last video. Oh, this one looks so pretty though. This is going to be the shade... Secret Escort. Oh, Secret Escort. Oh, oh my God. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fuck me up for summer with that one. That's like a more, I would say like pinky version of the shade Daiquiri from Tarte. <gasps> oh my God. I'm so excited about that. I cannot wait to wear this. And I really, I don't know. Do they still have these? Cause I really like the fact that they have like a lip pencil on one end and then the lipstick on the other end. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. We're definitely not getting rid of that. And it's Tom Ford. She's fancy. We are not getting rid of that one. And if you're wondering the makeup wipes I'm using, they're the Kirkland signature daily facial palettes, the best, the best freaking makeup wipes of all time. Pretty pigment. Do you guys, okay. Do you guys like when you see me and I'm doing a swatch party? I feel like it's better when you're just looking at this stuff, like when it's facing down. I got to figure out like the cord, but let me know what you guys prefer. Because if you like this better, I mean, this is easier because I don't have to adjust my camera. <laughs> okay, next one is another Tom Ford. This is going to be the shade Devil Inside. This is going to be another red. Oh, this looks like an orangey red. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I like never touch these. Oh, this is another really pretty one. It's almost like a, I would say like a tangerine. 
That's really pretty too. Ooh, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so excited about these. Let me swatch those next to each other because they look pretty similar. Hold on. So this is going to be devil inside. You mean, oh my girl. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fuck me up for summer with that one. <laughs> girl, I need interaction during this time. Let's see your face. All right, girl. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> Instantly demonetized. Oh my God. Okay. Secret escort. I'm going to put that on this, on the, this side. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a train wreck. Okay. These are definitely different. Oh my God. Both of those are so pretty. This one has more like orangey tones to it. This one's more, I would say neon, both Gorgina. Cannot wait to wear these for the summertime. Oh, oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. <laughs> oh my God, my shit is stained already. What the hell? I like to see your reactions. Okay, we'll keep doing them like this then. This is fun. I like it. Okay, let's go to, hold on, I gotta let this dry for a second. I'm gonna do my tart. These are going to be, holy cow, what are these called? The Drench Lip Splash Lipsticks. I've had this since these launched. I was obsessed with this formula for a hot minute. I love, oh yeah, the shade of this. This is gonna be <laughs> another nude. Jocelyn did so well. <laughs> this one's so pigmented, but these are so comfortable on the lips. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love that one. Hey Emily, what's up girl? Girl, where you been at? Okay. So that's going to be tart drench lip splash. I'm keeping that one too. I've literally only decluttered one so far. <laughs> so cutthroat. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Okay. Next one up. This one's definitely getting decluttered, but I have such a hard time decluttering it because it's the Victoria's Secret Sheer Drama Hydrating Lipstick in the shade Chow Bella. <laughs> Just the fact that this is Victoria's Secret, that should tell you how old this is. Oh, I've had this easily for like 10 years. <laughs> I mean, super pretty, but I know how old this is. I don't care even if it smells good. This is this is going because of how how old, but so pretty, right? I feel like, does, does Victoria's Secret still do makeup? I don't think that they do, but we're going to get rid of that one for once and for all because i have a hard time like just because that was like my very first makeup products like i don't even know why the hell i bought those so i'm always like do i want to get rid of them like sentimental value purposes but i'm like if it's not if i'm not reaching for it i need to get rid of it well i shouldn't say that if i know <laughs> that they're hella old i'm like contradicting myself because <laughs> i was like well if they smell good and they work good i'm not gonna get rid of it but okay I'm just gonna get rid of whatever the fuck I want. Okay, that's how we're gonna call it. Next one is the BH Cosmetics Color Lock Lipstick in the shade Passionate. I got this, I'm not even gonna lie. I got this to get free shipping. So this is gonna be like a purple. Oh, that's so pretty. Doesn't that look like the Fenty? <laughs> it looks like the Fenty blush that I used the other day. That's really pretty. Very comfortable on the lips. I remember using this. I really like how it does like the, Oh, it only does it for the first couple, I think. And then it, it winds up. Do I want to keep this? I feel like this is really unique to my collection. I think I'm going to keep this one for now. We'll see if it lasts in the long run. I keep missing not getting notifications and I've fallen into <laughs> off the filming wagon. I'll get back on it soon. Girl, get it together. I actually need to message you because I have an idea for June but I'll DM you. Um, let us help you declutter. Can we can we vote keep or kill? I mean, if you guys want to, but I think in the end, I'll just be like, I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna do what I want. <laughs> ah, I was gonna say that would be a pretty cream, cream blush. I'm curious how like similar that is to that Fenty one that I just used in last video, which if you missed it, Boy, was that a journey. So this is going to be the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Topanga. Can anybody guess why I bought this one? 
Oh, I love Boy Meets World. Oh, this one actually is still in pretty good shape. That's a really pretty shade. Really nice for spring, summer. Topanga. Oh, I really like that. I'm going to keep this one too. I feel like when ColourPop did like only lippy sticks, I liked this formula. I like this, what is it? The satin liquid lips. I like those too, but they're never long lasting. You know, the liquid lipsticks, not a fan at all. I feel like those are like the only two of the lip glosses I'm not really a fan of either. But these like original lippy sticks, am I the only one that thinks this? These were like the standout lip products for me. So I'm going to hang on to this one for now. I think the shade of that is really pretty as well. If I don't wear it throughout the spring and summer, then I'll get rid of it after that. Let's see. No, I like the purple. <laughs> now it's audacious and Kate for a purple. I almost went on a rampage because someone DM me or was it like a YouTube message or so somebody messaged me somehow. And they said that the NARS, like I think it was the limited or like the holiday audacious lipsticks were on sale. So I almost went nuts on the NARS website, but then none of them were on sale. So I was like, okay, I don't need them right now. But I love the NARS audacious line. I just bought that before it all started. I loved Boy Meets World. I've been watching. Well, I like, I always have stuff playing like as I'm editing, cause I'm always editing. Like <laughs> that's what I'm always doing. And I have it playing in the background. So I'm like, listening to the whole series over again. I like the lippy sticks and the satins for sure. Yeah, those are the only ones. Um, Cindy said, so glad I found you through Kate the Great. Happiness wishes for you in the coming year and a lot of special moments. Thank you, Cindy. That was so nice. All right, next one is going to be Marc Jacobs. This is the, the I think these are the Rouge lipstick or the Lamarck lipsticks. These are all on sale at Sephora for like 16 bucks. This is the shade So Rouge. And I got this as like a, for hitting rouge really pretty red lip really pigmented i really like the formula of these as well i just i never wear reds i'm gonna declutter this one because i never ever wear red lipsticks i always wear liquid lipsticks so we're gonna get rid of this one i'll probably give it to like my sister or something because that's in, in still like pretty good shape Heather says, I'm finally here. Yes, girl. Hi, Heather. I love your thumbnail. Thanks, girl. Did it actually work? <laughs> I looked earlier. I'm like, where the hell is my thumbnail? <laughs> but thanks, girlfriend. All right. Next one's going to be from Bite Beauty. They don't have these anymore, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencil in the shade Pomegranate. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my God, the formula on bite lipsticks though is so nice. I love those power, what they called power matte lip crayons or something like that. The formula on those is so bomb. I actually have, I gotta get one. I'm gonna declutter this one though because that's that needs to go. Let me see if I have that bite beauty one. If I have it readily available. If not, we'll have to pass over it. I don't think I do because I don't know where it is. And it's not in here, but I, um, I just got that one probably a couple months ago in the shade Kava or no, it was in my nudes. It was in the nudes video. I love the formula of those. I wanted to get the shade stinger for spring and summer, but I haven't done it yet. I haven't bit the bullet yet, but the power move lip crayons are bomb. If you like the amouge bouche lipsticks, you'll like those for sure. At least I think they're very similar. Here's another nude that Jocelyn put in here. This is the NARS. I think this is just the satin lip pencil in the shade Rikujian. I think I got this as another like Sephora. It was like a Sephora perk or something. This is just a pretty, I would say it's a sheer lipstick. It's a nude. <laughs> Not supposed to be in this video, but it's cute though. This is like brand new. I think I just got this one. So I'm going to hang on to this one for now. Really cute. I'm into it. I like the sheen that it has too. That's pretty. We're going to keep that one. I'm kind of surprised at how many I'm keeping. Um, Jennifer says, I love the Zoeva lip crayons. I've never tried the Zoeva ones. <laughs> Chrissy says, let Jocelyn smear that red all over her face. She'll have a blast. Oh yeah. So much fun. <laughs> I mean, that's what she does. Like whenever I leave this room and she just destroys all my lip products. It drives me nuts. And now we have the NARS. I think this is the same formula. No, this is the Velvet Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Cruella. I might keep this just for the name. I don't think I'll use this, 
These are nice. Like this one's really pigmented. Ooh, that's just a nice, I would say blue based, true red, really pretty. Will I actually wear it? Probably not, but I'm gonna keep it anyways. Options, okay? That's rather new for me as well. I think I got that as like a rouge bonus or some shit like that. Oh, let's see, that was a birthday gift a few years, was it? That must be what it's from then. I mean, it still works all right, so we're gonna keep it for now. Oh, let's see. Oh my God, Sabrina Carpenter was my woman crush when I used to watch Girl Meets World. <laughs> <laughs> um oh that was for jennifer i used to be so obsessed with sean hunter oh my god oh my god when i was younger <laughs> you couldn't tell me no on that one okay this is gonna be the makeup forever rouge artist natural in the shade n45 i'm gonna get rid of this one because i never wear this one. Oh, i might wear this for summer this is old though. I'm going to get rid of this. This is really old, but that would be so pretty because it's a nice sheer, I would say like a sheer buildable type of, almost like a bomb, like a tinted lip balm. That would be so pretty, but I'm going to get rid of this one because one, it's old. Two, I already have the Tom Ford ones. Let's get rid of it. I'm going to get, I'm going to get rid of the NARS one too. I will not wear, I know I won't wear it. Be better. Be better, Brittany. <laughs> Oh, let's see. All right, I have a Tarte Sea Splash and NARS in my cart. What else do I need to try? Is it, make sure it's the Audacious. I mean, at least for me, if you like a pigmented lipstick, the NARS Audacious. I love, love, love. What shade of the NARS do you have and what shade of the Tarte do you have? Keep in mind, you don't need, you don't need anything. <laughs> it's a want. What shades do you want? <laughs> let's see. Now I love a red lip. It's my, my, I don't give a shit type of day. I love a red lip, but it cannot be a lipstick. It has to be a liquid lipstick because that just sets it off for me. And I don't want to have to worry about it. Like smearing on my face. I've had really bad experiences with red lipsticks. So I'm just like, no, oh my God. Is it vision of ew? Eric Matthews mows my bay. Dumbest Brooks, but him an oversized 90s sweater. Yes. <laughs> so much. Yes. <laughs> I love when he was like, Mr. Feeney. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. Jennifer says, I recommend the premier lip set. It comes with a beautiful red, nice orange red and a beautiful pink nude. I love them all. Premier lip set. What, like what brands are in that? Look at my broken hair. Oh my gosh. Hot, hot mess express. <laughs> That's so funny. Eric Matthews was my bae. <laughs> Okay, next one is going to be the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick and Rosy Go Round. So this is going to be a drugstore option. This is pretty. These are really pretty. This is just not one that I ever reach for. But spring and summer, I could see it. I'm going to hang on to this for now. And the fact that it's a moisturizing lipstick, I'm into that. So this is, again, the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in the shade Rosy Go Round. I think I got this last year. So it's probably still, yeah, it still smells okay. We're good. We're good with that one. Next one is going to be, I'm decluttering this one. This is from Kat Von D. This is the, oh my God, these are so small. The Foiled Love Lipstick, and I can't read what shade it is. This is so old. So, so old, but this is going to be like, this is really cool. It's a really cool shade because it almost has, okay, let's try this one. We'll do it over here. It's really pigmented. And it has like a gold shift to it or a gold sheen to it. You can't really, I don't think you can really see it. You might be able to see it right there. But it's really pretty, but it's hella old. We're getting rid of it. I got a lot of these like, whoa. I got a lot of these like mini sizes in like a big sampler package or something like that. Um. Oh, Jennifer says it's from Zoeva. It's from her Premier collection. Sherry says, Tarte is Soft Life and Siesta. I love Salt Life. Oh my God, that's like my favorite shade. Uh, NARS is the cheaper one. I was deciding between Damage, Dulce, Vita, and Instant Crush. Only trying from a couple brands. I haven't tried the Tarte, like original lipsticks. I know Michelle really likes them though. Michelle Wong. I, I can't remember what video she had. She was talking about the NARS. Or yeah, it was the NARS, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Nico, what's up, girl? Hubby wants to watch a movie. We're more important than a movie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
I used to constantly wear Kat Von D and Lolita all the time. That was one I never, ever owned. Okay, next one is going to be from Too Faced. This packaging was 10 out of 10. It was so nice. These are from the like Peach Perfect lipsticks or something like that. This is the shade Peach Beach. <sighs> this one's so nice. So nice for spring, summer. This is going to be a matte formula. A lot of these are looking so similar to one another. Ooh, could you see how pigmented? Look at me just drawing on myself. Talk about a swatch party. <laughs> so this is the shade Peach Beach. I love this formula. It smells like peaches. I really enjoy these ones. So we're going to keep this one as well. This feels like it would be like a luxury brand. Like I know it's Too Faced and they always kill it with the packaging, but like even like the weight of this, this just feels like it's luxury. I love that. I love that line. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Which one did Sweet Roar recommend? Sweet Roar, what the hell's your name? I think you've told me before. Maybe one of Bites New Formula. I love Bites New Formula. The Power Move. Love that one. I have the shade Kava. And it's like a, it's almost like a purpley nude. It's really pretty. And I also like the shade. I think it's Leche. Those are my two favorites. And then Stinger for spring, summer. It looks so pretty. Heather says, so cute. <laughs> it's okay, Nico. Thanks for coming in, girl. Okay, so that's it for all of my like individual ones. I hit, or, oh, no, it's not. Uh, we have a couple more. So next one's going to be from Maybelline. I'm getting rid of this one because Jocelyn destroyed it. This is the shade Shocking Coral. This shade is so pretty and this line is so nice. Ooh, but you could tell this one's old. I really do like the shade of this, like I said. This is not like as pigmented as I remember. The shade of this is so electric and vibrant, so ideal for spring and summer. But this one, I just, I would get another one of these, but I love, this is from the Vivids line, I think. Yeah, the color sensational Vivids. Shocking Coral, right? Yes, 870 Shocking Coral. That's what she looks like. I really liked them before, but we're going to get rid of that one. Got to get another wipe out of here. Okay, Sweet, Sweet Roar's name is Aurora. Let's see if I can remember that. <laughs> Christy says, you need Glace from Bite, I'm telling you. That's in one of the sets, right, that they have right now? Oh, my God, I don't need to buy any more shit, but I know I'm going to place another order. Maybe I will. Is Glace, though, isn't that in the other formula? It's not in the Power Matte formula. I think there's two different ones. The Maybelline looks similar to the Too Faced Peach Beach one. I think the Shocking Coral is more vibrant than the Peach Beach. This one's a little bit... Here, let's put them next to each other. Why not, right? Oh my God, my hand's going to be like raw after this. <laughs> let's see. I also think the finish is a lot different. Like the finish on the Shocking Coral. So this one's going to be Shocking Coral. This one's going to be the Too Faced. This is going to be, I would say, more of a like satin, borderline like lip balm finish, at least how it feels right now. I don't think that this is accurate to how it usually is. And then the Too Faced is going to be a matte formula. So very different. This one's definitely a lot more vibrant. So we're going to get rid of that one. Okay, let's wipe this off. I'm going to try switching to my other hand. Don't mind how the swatches look for sure on this side because I'm not very good left-handed but we're gonna try it anyways so we have jeffrey star cosmetics in the shade baby spice this is from the lip ammunition line i really like these formulas because they're going to be more they're more stiff they're not like a super creamy formula look at that look at that so pretty it's going to have a more stiff formula which i'm not mad about because these last a lot longer on my lips and they're very pigmented. My favorite shade was Celebrity Skin. I love that. Just shade in general between the lipstick, the liquid lipstick. I love it. This one, Spring and Summer, though, so nice. I haven't bought any more. I think I got this in, like, my Jeffree Star Mystery Box, I think. So I'm going to keep that one because I really do like it. It's one of those things that normally, like, if I was to, like, go in store, swatch it, and feel it, I'd be like, eh, I'm not going to get this one. But because it has that, like, it's creamy, but it's got like a little bit of like a tug to it, but it lasts so nice on my lips. I love it. That color makes me think of Barbie. Yes, I agree. Let's see. Joseph Colors Liquid Lips and Extra Saucy. Steal a liquid lip. Yes, I love I love liquid lips. Liquid lips is probably going to be my next 
uh, declutter. I might film that one though, because I got so many like with lipstick. <laughs> it's ridiculous how many I have. Um, the new bite lip is the power move or yeah, it's like the power matte formula. Oh, I'll ha okay. I'll check the shade glossy. Okay. I'll check the shade glossy. Uh oh, damn near, <laughs> damn near to 8K. We're almost there, baby. We're almost there. Did you guys subscribe yet? Did you guys share this video yet? We're almost there. Thank you, Audra. If you guys haven't, Audra at home, she's another amazing channel. She's just, she's so funny and quirky and just like, I love it. I love everything that she does. Um, she does like her foundation reviews because she's darker complexion. She like, takes a foundation re review to like another place. So definitely check out Audra at home. Emily Han Han was in here earlier. I've collabed with her before. I'll leave all these channels linked down below after. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Maytel says, I have on Jeffree Star Liquid Lip and Gemini, but it's old. I still keep it because I am a Gemini. <laughs> I think I have that one too. 10K, here you come. We'll see. We'll see if we get there. Okay, this next one is from Lancome. This is the Mademoiselle. What is it? The Mademoiselle... Or no, hold on. It's the Absolute Mademoiselle Shine Lipstick in the shade Stands Out. This, I believe, was reformulated. And this was another one. I would have mentioned this in my top 10 Sephora recommendations, but I would buy this at Ulta. You're going to see why. I saw this from Alana Davison. This looks so... Look at it. It's so pretty because it's going to be like a bomb, but it just gives the most pretty almost like a glossy look to your lips. It just gives such a glorious look to your lips. It's perfect for summer. Oh my God. I, this is like my favorite lipstick I probably have in my collection. That's like summer, you know? But again, I didn't feature it in that video just because I would buy this at Ulta. Gorgina, right? Am I right or am I right? I'm just wondering. I love how I switched to my left hand for one lipstick. <laughs> So this one, we're definitely not getting rid of. I got this last year and I want to get more shades. I think they have like a hot pink, but I'm not sure if it's the same because I'm pretty sure that the, it's like a bullet that looks just like this, but I think it's silver now. I don't know if they're the same, but if it's the shade stands out, maybe it is. I'm not sure. But next time I'm wait, I'm like waiting for a 20% off at Ulta so I can buy some, like I had so many things on my list at Ulta. It's crazy. Emily says, I'm here, just chilling. <laughs> Juicy. Yes, girl. I still have the Jeffree Star Liquid Lips and Nathan. I guess I should keep it since it's a collector's item. <laughs> oh, Christy said, who the hell thumbs down this live stream, girl? I don't give a fuck because it's still engagement. Thank you for engaging with my video. <laughs> I don't care. Like the way that I take thumbs up and thumbs down is, okay, you like this video or you don't like to watch it. If I get like, I don't take thumbs down as like an insult because it essentially it tells me like, okay, people don't like this type of video. You know, I don't think it's a bad thing. I would rather people thumbs it down and still watch <laughs> because it's still engagement. That's how I look at it. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, Mary, is it Mariana? I love your personality and your energy. Thanks, girl. Uh, let's see. I will definitely head over to Audra when this is over. Audra's the best. Oh my God. I love her. It was thumbs down before we started. Who the hell knows? No one cares. Have you tried the Lancome Absolute Lick Lacquers? Favorite lip product of all time? I have not. Lancome is a brand. I sleep on them. I need to not because everything that I've tried from them, like I haven't tried much. I think I tried that and like a foundation. The Tiny Idol Foundation, that's another one. I'm waiting to get a discount at Ulta so I can buy that foundation because that's one of my favorite foundations for spring and summer. So I'll have to try that. Do you have a favorite shade in that line? Heather says, yes. When I get thumbs down, I'm like, oh, well, you're still helping me. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's almost like when Cardi did her little, she did a speech and she's like, and for all my haters out there that download my stuff, in the end, it, benef it still benefits me. <laughs> it's like, it's so true though. Or yeah, they download the music to talk shit about it, but it still benefits her. It's so funny. Audra, every single live stream always has a thumbs down, even before it starts. Britt wasn't even here when that thumbs down showed up. No, Fox. Thanks for engaging. Next. 
Oh, uh, let's see. I love, I love the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I think I've tried that and I wasn't a huge fan of it. I think. But I'm so into, like, I'm so into tubing mascaras right now. It's crazy. Okay, next ones are going to be the Joe. Do we establish this is Joa? I'm pretty sure. These are going to be, I would say, like a, almost like a moisturizing lip balm almost, but you could build them to be more pigmented. I think I'll really like these. I don't think I'll, I'm going to get rid of this shade because I just don't wear shades like this. They're just a sheer formula, but I think these would look really nice on the lips for spring and summer. Do I want to keep this one? No, I don't reach for it. I like too that they have like on the cap, it shows what color it is and it's actually lipstick. I love that. I think that's just a nice added touch to it. The packaging looks really nice. Like it looks super bougie, but in real life, it's like, it feels kind of cheap, but that was sent to me from, was it Influencer, I think? So I got those for free, but I just never did anything. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, let's see. You have to try the Lancome Absolute Powder and Peche. Life-changing. Has a glow. Gorgina. I love that you guys say Gorgina. Okay. We really need to establish, like, how would you spell Gorgina? Because I spell it like how DRS 299. I spelled it just like that. But some people spell it with a Y. How would you spell Gorgina? Because I need to know. <laughs> oh, let's see. She, the shades I love the most are Rose Story, The Perfect Spring Peach, Be Brilliant, Let Me Shine, and Shine Manifesto. I'll have to look those up. Okay, the next one is going to be the shade Adulting. I don't think I even told you what shade this was. The first one was, I think it's Soul Sister or Seoul Sister. I'm going to get rid of this one, I think. And then this is going to be adulting. I think I'm going to keep this one because it almost reminds me of that Lancome one. It's more pigmented though, but it still has that really pretty shine to it. I'm just so into products like this. This one is a lot more pigmented though. I think that's so pretty. Oh, I love shades like that. Okay, we're keeping this one. Even though I don't typically wear reds, I think this one you could easily like blot it out and look really pretty just because of the finish that it has. So I'm going to hang on to that one. That one's really cute. Let's see. Let's see how everybody's spelling Gorgina. Okay. A lot of people are spelling it the same way as me. Because I almost think of like, okay, how do I spell gorgeous? And then how do I spell vagina? <laughs> that is my thought process <laughs> to how I spell it. So Candace spells it the same way. I have an influencer hair that needs hair product that I need to review. Gorgina. Okay, so Sherry spells it G-E-O. Chris spells it the same way as I do. Maytel sp spells it the same way. Okay, so a lot of people spell it the same way. And then we have the G-E-O or G-O-E. Oh my God. Oh my God, Peggy, G-O-U. Shit. <laughs> How many different ways can we spell Gorgina? <laughs> Hi, Maria. What's up, girl? Oh, man. So if, okay, if you never seen the letter or the word spelled, this is what made me question it. Cause I thought I'm like, okay, people would know like how to spell it. But then I commented on Kate's video one day and I said Gorgina and she, she pronounced it Gorgina. So I'm like, shit, how should I spell this? And then I've seen some people spell it like G-O-R-G-Y-N-A. Exactly. Vagina rhymes with Gorgina. Gorgeous. So Gorgina. Okay. I think we're going to keep it. G-O-R-G-I-N-A. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to, we have some Gerard cosmetics. Some of these were sent to me. Some of them I think were, or no, I think I purchased all of these because these are going to be old. I think I'm going to declutter all of these because they're, they're so old. So the first one is going to be tequila sunrise. Oh yeah. These are so tough now. Tequila sunrise. I'll just give you just instead of doing two swatches like I have been just because of how old these are, they're like, they're really tough to kind of get across. When I have swatched these, like when I initially get them, they're like one swipe application. The next one's going to be all dialed up. Just a hot ass pink, hot, hot pink. Yeah, like I have to keep going like this just to get the color payoff. So this one's going to be all dialed up right here. Gerard Cosmetics, I do have a discount code with them as well. It is an affiliate code. They always have sales though. Like 
always. They always have like buy five for $25 or something like, like they always have crazy sales. That's one I would recommend to like stock up on stuff. This is going to be the shade Vintage Rose. That one's so pretty. Oh, I love that one. I might have to buy this one again. Yeah, this one's old. Oh my God, I like never use, or is this old? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's old. Yeah, because this one swatches. I I'll have to look at my order. I don't know. I can't tell if that's old or not. So that's going to be those ones. Just because my other ones are like so, like watch. I have to go like, oh, that's a wet spot. Fail, Brittany. And this is going to be the shade Fairy Godmother. Why the hell I bought this shade, I still don't know. Because <laughs> I never wear shades like that. That's just like a pastel pink. I would never wear that, ever. Because it would probably make my teeth look so yellow. Even though I have pretty bright white teeth. So those are going to be all the Gerard Cosmetic shades that I have. Or, not all the ones. All the ones that are non-nude. I'm going to check on Vintage Rose. Because that one, I don't know, that doesn't seem like it's old. I'm going to check to see if I bought that one recently. If I did, I'm going to keep that one. But I'm going to get rid of all the other ones. Vintage Rose is pretty, right? So pretty. All right, let me wipe these off. Let's see what everybody's saying in the chat. Gorgeous and vagina equals Gorgina. <laughs> let me pin that really quick. Boom. <laughs> Gorgeous and vagina equals Gorgina. <laughs> Candace, you need merch. Why do you think I'm asking how to spell Gorgina, girl? <laughs> see, the correct spelling. Audra's got it too. Gorgeous plus vagina equals Gorgina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This, Margie, that's how I've also seen it spelled. G-O-R-G-Y-N-A. <laughs> Christina, whoa, that one is pink. I know, bright pink. Look at how red my hand is. Oh my gosh, I gotta try to get this tint off so you guys could see the real shades. We got a couple more to go. We've got only MAC and Urban Decay left, so let's crush it. So these are gonna be all from the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani collection. I'm pretty sure, were these permanent? No, I think the only one that was was ex-girlfriend. Am I correct? I'm going to keep these ones because I like to showcase these. I think the packaging is super just edgy and cool. Do you guys remember this one? Oh, love it. Okay, so the first one's going to be Spiderweb. Oh my God, this one isn't even touched yet. We're going to swatch it today though. Wow, that's actually really pigmented. So these are going to be mostly reds. Again, I'm not keeping them to wear. I'm keeping them to show them off. I'm just showing you guys my collection right now. The next one's going to be Wonderland. I have worn this one, or at least Jocelyn has worn this one. This is Wonderland. When you look at them all next to each other, you're like, are they that different? <laughs> I think this one has a little bit more blue. Oh my God, this one is so disgusting right now. Uh, uh, it had a hair on it. <laughs> Hairy lipsticks. Next one's going to be Rock Steady. Another one, Untouched. Wow. Oh my God, that's got like shit growing on it, it looks like. <laughs> oh, these are so old. But that's Rock Steady right there. These are all really pretty shades. I just, these were collector's pieces for me. Why I wanted to collect them, I don't know, because it's not like I'm a huge super fan of Gwen Stefani or No Doubt or anything. I just thought the packaging was really cute. And I've decluttered, I think, the rest of the stuff. Next one's going to be 714. I had to search like high and low for this one. I think this one's going to be more orange based. This one right here. And then the last one is Firebird. This was, and Jocelyn wrecked it. Look at that. Oh man. This is what she does and it drives me crazy. So I'm always like, Jocelyn, just make sure you roll it down all the way. But I thought this shade was so pretty. Look at it. Oh, so nice. So these are all the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani ones. This one's definitely my favorite. I just felt like it's so unique. So pretty. I don't know. I'm like, do I want to do I want to keep these out? Because here's my thing. Whenever, whenever I have stuff, like remember when I used to have the lac shelves like over there? Anytime I had stuff on there. Like it was stuff that I would just, I would really want to reach for. And anytime I had it on there, I would never ever reach for it. It's like, I forgot about it. I always just go right to my drawers. 
So I'm like, okay, do I really need to have those on display anymore? I'm not going to wear them. I'm just going to get rid of them. Fuck it. There's no point. There's no point. I want to, I'm becoming like the older I get, I notice I'm becoming more of a minimalist. Like I don't, I used to love like when everything was on, especially like the kitchen counter. I used to collect Mackenzie Childs and I would have stuff all over the counter because I thought it looked pretty. But now I'm just like, no, take everything off. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that now. It's so weird. Firebird, they still carry. Maybe I'll keep Firebird. Maybe. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not going to wear them. Get rid of them. Okay, next two are going, these are all going to be from Mac. These two are going to be, I forget what collection it was, but I got these because the packaging was so fucking cute. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see. What's everybody saying? <laughs> no kids in the makeup. <laughs> Gorgina makes me think of gynecologist. Gorgina is better. But Gorge Ina is even better because it captures your your <laughs> action when you say it. Gorgina, I know, like the emphasis comes on Ina. I might have to do that. Throw that little dash in there. Oh yeah, that's funny. That's funny shit. Maybe I'll have to do that. Okay, this first one's going to be a set, and this is going to be the shade Steam Heat. Another old. Oh my god, this is so old. You know, for how old these are, though, I'm really impressed with the pigmentation that we're getting out of these. Like, look at that. That's really impressive. I want to keep these, though, because I love the packaging on these. Love the packaging on that one. So that's going to be a satin. I'm much more of a fan of satin lips now. I used to be such a fan of um, their matte formulas, but I really like their satin and cream sheens now. And then this next one is going to be... This is an amplified cream, and it's going to be in the shade Morat, Mor Morange. This one, oh, I feel like everybody lost their shit over this one because it's like a true orange. I have nothing like this in my collection. Look at, I'm so impressed with the pigmentation on these. Wow, I'm gonna, I'm keeping these. I don't even care. I'm keeping them. I'm keeping them. That packaging. <laughs> All the junk is overwhelming as I get older. I think that's how I am too. I'm like, this just needs to get off. And I'm just so sick of cleaning it all. And then this next one, these are from, I don't even remember. What is it? The, I'm going to butcher this one. The Gian Battista Valley collection. I bought the entire collection because I love the packaging. <laughs> no idea who this person is or anything like that. The first one's going to be a matte formula in the shade Bianca B. This is another one. I like searched high and low for this. And I'm like, why? Why? When am I going to wear that? But the packaging is so cute. I don't know what I love so much about this, but I mean, I think I'm going to get rid of these ones because they're really cute. Or I'm going to get rid of these ones because even though they're really cute, I just, I know I'm not going to wear them. And that one especially is not performing the way that I want to. This next one is going to be a matte in the shade Margarita. Oh, this one still performs pretty good. That's Margarita. I might keep that one. I don't have shades like this. Let me compare that next to, what is it, Mar Marange? Do they still carry these shades? Because if they carried the shades, I'd probably buy them again. Okay, I like the Marange better because that's going to be an amplified cream. So you have, what the hell is this called? Margarita, yes. Margarita is here, and then Morange is right here. Both really pretty. I'm going to keep both of those and see if I reach for them this spring and summer. This next one is going to be a matte in the shade Tats. This was my favorite one in the collection, and I never wore it. Oh, look how pretty that is. <gasps> If it was not spring and summer right now, I would be getting rid of probably all these. But I'm just like, no, I want it for spring and summer. <laughs> this next one I'm going to get rid of, though. This is the matte in the shade Charlotte. And this is, I'm just, I know I'm not going to wear this. These still perform really well. I'm so impressed with this right now. Yeah, that's like deep. Really deep. But I know I won't wear it. And that's all of my lipsticks. 
all of my colorful lipsticks. I already did my nude lipstick, so if you guys wanna check that out. What was your favorite that you saw today? Oh, let's see, at a rave with a black light. <laughs> yeah, right, you're talking about the pink one? <laughs> this borderline white, oh my God. I don't even know why I bought that, Jesus Christ. Um, The lighter that my skin, wait. The lighter than my skin tone lips are a no for me. Oh, okay. Oh, let me tell. I'm going to butcher that name. As a fashion designer, I think collabed with the fashion. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> That's a Barbie pink. Yes, it is. Love it. So what was your guys' favorites for today? Oh, we did that under an hour. I'm so impressed with myself. What was your guys' favorite for today? What's your favorite lipstick for? Like name. Okay. Sound off with your favorite lipstick. Shade brand everything what's your all-time favorite and maybe i might have to buy more <laughs> i don't need to buy more but i think i'm gonna so i ended up decluttering let's see one two wow three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen six seven eight twenty i decluttered twenty and i'm keeping one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 19. So I am decluttering more than I kept. Boom. Love that. Let's see. I'll put them all in a box so you can see all the ones that I'm keeping. Not that you guys probably give a shit, but we're going to do it anyways. We're going to do it. Any oh, wait. Let me show you this one because this is a new lipstick for me. It's not a colorful lipstick. These are all the ones I'm keeping. So those are going to go back. In my collection, and I want to show you guys this. Artist Couture Lipstick. This is brand new. These just came out like a month ago, probably. I have the shade Boy Toy. So the packaging, super bouge. I really love the Artist Couture aesthetic. I think he makes everything look so luxurious. And I have the shade Boy Toy. This is the most pink of all the ones. At least I thought it was the most pink. It doesn't pull pink on my hand, but on my lips, it definitely, here, let me swatch it on this side because I've got like a tint going on on this side here. Yeah, everything else in this collection was very nude, but I love the shade of this. Here, let me try to do a live swatch so you can see how pigmented it is. Look at me going in on the swatches today. I really like this formula. It's not like my all-time favorite, like it's not the NARS Audacious. But for the price, I think these are really nice lipsticks. And I feel like he I feel like he did a good job with like traditional nudes, you know? He went more like I said, that's the most I would say pink, but he kept everything like true nude to me. All right, let's see what everybody's saying. Let's see what we say. We see what we say. Oh my god, Cindy, here you go. Gorgia I know. <laughs> Oh my God, that's everything. Maytel liked the Tarte ones. The Lancome Orange was my favorite. Girl, that is, that's probably my favorite that I showed you guys today. Sherry, no, I did not go through my liquid lipsticks yet. That's going to be my next declutter though. All right, let me go through these. Let me move my microphone really quick. Let me go through these. Britt, you need merch. Oh my God. Britt is in the front and Gorgina. Girl, we're going to do an assortment of merch. Okay. You just wait. It's coming. It's coming. I'm definitely going to do it. I just got to get it all together. <laughs> Let's see. Shout out to everyone wearing their best spring makeup for their cat because we can't go. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Let's see. We have Lisa Aldridge Velvet Muse. I have not tried Lisa Aldridge, but people keep saying that brand, but I think I need to try it. Audra says, currently the Colored Rain Satin Lipsticks. I have not tried theirs yet. My all-time favorite is the Urban Decay Got Senza, right? Senza Stark Lipstick. I haven't heard of like any of these yet. The Glossy Lawn Clone is stunning. Urban Decay Back Talk from Kimberly. Trisha's Bite. My all-time fave is NARS Anna, but you already have it. I freaking love it. Lisa says, Charlotte Tilbury. Maytel says, I want an artist couture palette, but it's not in stock. I think that sold out like the second day, I think. But that's a permanent palette, I believe. So it'll come back. Don't worry. 
Oh, let's see. I'm eyeing the beautiful Tatcha lipstick. So if you're looking to try something, <laughs> I think they have the same. Hold on. Where'd it go? I think the Tatcha lipsticks. Oh, I need to try those just because they're Tatcha. I think the packaging is like, I think Too Faced was sued by Tatcha for the packaging on that one. I think. Did I hear correctly on that one? Um... Angel Cake is the one that you got. I found you from Michelle's page. Yes, I love that. Let's see. Bite Beauty, Matte Crayon, and Stinger. Lovely Coral. Uh, I think they have that in the Power Move. In the Power, or no, Power Move. The Power Matte Formula, I think. is Yeah, it's Stinger, because that was the one I was going to get. ColourPop Cream Lux <laughs> in any of the Disney Princess <laughs> shades. See, I'm not a fan of ColourPop lips. I don't know. Mac Faux is pretty pinky nude. Ooh, Lisa Eldridge. I bought some Lisa Eldridge lipsticks recently and I'm waiting for them to ship. I hope they'll be a top favorite. Okay, I need to look into those because I keep seeing so many people talk about them. Let me give you guys, okay, my favorite of the day. My favorite of the day was the Lancome. I'll leave these link after. Or shit, I don't know if it's the same. I'll leave what I think is the same as this down below after if you guys want. This was my favorite of the day. My most surprising of the day. What was my most surprising? I think these Tom Ford ones. Like, I knew they were pretty. Hold on. This is the shade Devil Inside. This one right here. And then this is going to be the shade Secret Escort. And these are just the lip contour duos. These are the most surprising for me today. I think those are so pretty, but Lancome still wins. Like, see the sheen on that compared to these other ones? Like, these are going to be more of a satin finish. That's going to be like a bomb. Borderline a gloss. I think that's going to be so flattering on the lips for spring and summer. I need to get more shades of those. But like I said, these were the absolute Mademoiselle Shine. The new, I think these were reformulated or something, but I think they're gonna be still like similar or the same. I'm not really sure yet. Lisa Eldridge is always out of stock. Where do you get Lisa Eldridge from her website? Let's see, Margie says favorite Chanel 68 Tender Beige. I need, I wish my area, we have nowhere to buy Chanel in store and it's so annoying. I do like the Nabla lipstick I got a few days ago. Not ready to declare it a favorite yet. <laughs> uh, she's restocking in September. That's um, Lisa Eldridge. The Tom Ford Secret Escort is so pretty, right? Those are Gorgina, girl. Love it. All right, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I may be live tomorrow because I haven't had a chance to film anything for my dirty 30, like a chit chat, get ready with me type of thing. Just putting on makeup, chit chat, hanging out. My birthday's tomorrow. So if you wish me a happy birthday already, thank you guys. Dirty 30 tomorrow, spending it in quarantine. Yay. But yeah, I think that's it for tonight's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did like it, if you like my, ch if you like my channel, if you like me, if you like just the shit I do, share it out, like this video, all that stuff, because it really does help. I'm trying to get my, my end screen in order right now. So turn on your notifications and maybe I'll be live tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. It's going to depend on what time I get up. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.